So here is a quick key table in order to identify um, what, each, oh sorry, what each color, um, colored circle actually represents when looking at the ancillary targets shown, um, such as the assets here for the film poster and the actual magazine front cover. So I, I want to look at the two to see how similar they actually are and how, how yeah, similar they really are, especially when looking at the color scheme, the props used, the lighting, the, color, the camera angles, even the photography, and even the costumes and the NBC of each character and the themes which are actually presented and portrayed within the two, or separately. So I know it's fairly complicated, but looking at it closely, I'm able to identify the way in which both the tasks incorporate similar and frequent usage of colours within their, uh, the actual colour schemes used. This all in all creates a sincere similarity between the two, adding more to the adult, adult theme of the story and also the way the characters appear as being menacing. And it creates a suitable link for the two to actually identify them as being part of the same film, uh, even when you don't actually um, look at the title, for example. So the use of grey within two ancillary tasks promotes the idea that the eerie themes are relevant within the film. The grey suggests maturity, masculinity, and possible hints of revenge. The darkness enhances the sense of shock and themes of hiding. The mist may also show that how the character Sal, who is the rat at the very end, of the left side, tries to hide due to his fear of the two main antagonists uh, um, who are used within both ancillary tasks. The, uh, the way the grey is surrounded the characters may also foreshadow the entrapment that the rat feels. Furthermore, the text of rat is also surrounded by a misty border, suggesting how the way it too feels trapped and compact within a dangerous situation. The grey also adds intimidation, I first feel, as the audience too are not able to fully identify who is surrounding them. They feel enclosed in his company, trapped in fear. Now, the NBC of the two main antagonists of the film uh, both appear to have deeply en angered expressions, envious and aggressiveness, especially with the character of Antonio, who is fluently angry. Uh, the character who um, characters also wear the same costume between both the two tasks, creating appropriate similarity between the two again to gain greater recognition of the film and the adult theme contents and the sense of deemed stereotypical um, maturity of the characters even though they are aggressive men and this is expected within the crime genre. Uh, I wanted to create similarities but also to add uh, new features such as the way the character Cadillac is first looking up in the film poster possibly to show that he is behind his brother at all times whereas he looks down in the magazine front cover to possibly enhance anger and sense of irritation even. He appears more menacing and even more stereotypically rough. This is an appropriate way to look at the two um, to look at the two antagonists of the film, leading to the greater sense of care the audience possibly have for Sal and maybe even Detective Dwayne, who's also on the left, who too is by his side. So this is all done on purpose, and furthermore, the characters all have varying facial expressions within the film trailer to possibly suggest how the two sided, uh, sorry, how two sided they possibly are. At the start of the film trailer, the two antagonists they both appear caring and welcoming to their best friend Sal. Later on, they appear intimidating, and this is when we see more of who they really are. They also wear suits throughout the whole of the trailer, again linking to stereotypes, but um, sorry, conventions, I think, one. But with many um, crime genre related films, or if it, they actually have it as the subgenre, they do wear um, they don't just, they do wear different types of, of costumes. They don't just wear the suit, which arguably is a way it challenges conventions, but it's, it's also just to create a sincere link between all th all of the actual tasks we we created and just to set aside the sincere differences that each character have and the way they are dressed appropriately to match their different sides, their possible difference in opinion and their different attitudes toward one another. So this is really important for us to create, especially at the start and from the consider task to link it on later to the film trailer. And yeah, this is done with either the grey suit or navy blue suit throughout. So this makes it more realistic considering that the film's story would be set over, well possibly a week. And the characters they are deemed as being wealthy, so the actual use of suits, even though um, we have the suits and they're not they're not expensive suits, but for the actual likening of the story, they would possibly have and wear a different suit each day, which costs I don't know, I think, I'm guessing thousands per per suit, but nevertheless, um, the masculinity of the characters. Actually, no, sorry. Within both of the ancillary tasks, the use of props are used greatly. Similarly with the film play, uh, main film trailer, the use of gun props and even other uh, violent weapons are also used, adding a darker tone and sense of evil in which the antagonists live by. 
The props which are, is also used within the trailer it also includes the use of a tool wrench, adding frank, uh, sorry, more gruesomeness to all the characters and the way they actually get information from people. Sincere harm, frankly, only appropriate for an adult audience. Themes of aggressiveness and ag you know, aggression and, and violence were extremely necessarily uh, extremely necessary throughout all of the tasks, creating uh, an an again another thorough link and similarity between all of them. The lighting used for the magazine front cover was ambient lighting, similar to the lighting used uh, almost throughout all of the trailer, adding toward the realism the film trailer actually set out to incorporate, making the storyline appear even more fearful. Now, the photo was actually taken, uh, which was taken for the film poster, was actually um, was, also, was also set and photographed outside in ambient lighting, but it isn't as notable for the audience, bearing in mind um, it is great to tell. Now, the masculinity of the characters are all portrayed by the users of the stereotypical costumes they all wear. Um, and again, used throughout the whole trailer, such as the leather jacket that Sal wears, or the the um, the long jacket that, that Detective Dwayne wears, I'm not too sure what it's actually called, but it creates a similar link throughout all of them, or even just his, um, his shirt in general, and his um, and his, uh, his use of a tie to, to suggest his professionalism. And this is crucial in order for the audience to actually immediately understand which genre the films belong to, bearing in mind it is a st it follows conventions. Again, all of these are used throughout the, uh, the film to make it more adult themed and crime genre like, immediately attracting the appropriate target audience at the start of the actual viewing of the film trailer and the ancillary tasks. So our, we, we all hope that our trailer incorporated almost everything um, seen from the ancillary tasks, including similar lighting, similar themes created, the costumes, well yeah, definitely the costume, yeah, uh, costumes, um, the use of violent props, and even the aggressiveness the characters have with their facial expressions to possibly enhance the fear created. Uh, the use of red star ratings that were used with the actual ma uh, magazine, sorry, uh, film poster, they were used in order to create a link again with the colour scheme of the trailer due to it also being red, similar to the text used throughout, uh, also being white and therefore creating another crucial link between all the ancillary tasks in relation to the overall colour screen that was actually used. The ancillary tasks also, with the magazine front cover, hide the two main uh, protagonists to suggest the dominance of the two antagonist brothers incorporated within both ancillary tasks. Similar to the trailer, the brothers are possibly even shown the most, as opposed to Sal who comes after them. So who, who, who comes after them shortly followed with Dwayne. Uh, if, there were, if there were possible presenter to H in which each character would be shown within the film trailer, I think it would be for Carlos 50%, Antonio 60%, so again more than, than Carlos' character, Sal 40% and Dwayne 20%, so it just enhanced the sincere dominance in which the two Italians actually have over everyone else in the actual film trailer and even the magazine front cover and film poster. Like the ancillary tasks, the two main protagonists are not shown the whole time. The two antagonists are. Furthermore, the dominance of the most fearful brother is also provided, especially due to him being in front of Carlo within both ancillary tasks. Within the trailer, Antonio speaks the most and appears the most. He is the more in charge, even though Carlo has a lot of similar importance. The camera work that was used and incorporated throughout all the ancillary tasks called a similar link due to the fact that um, within the actual film, sorry, a magazine front cover and film poster, a long shot is used in order to expand with the authority and essential importance of each character and what they actually have for the story, whether or not they are the antagonists or the protagonists of the film story. Many long shots were used, such as for Sal in the park holding his gun whilst, um, whilst hiding behind a wall, or when Carlo and Antonio fought chat and Norma's man sitting in, on a chair. And this is also similar with the actual ancillary tasks. Even though the camera shots were not used largely, that camera shot was not actually used largely, they were still they were still used to expand on the special awareness of each character, depend, a spatial awareness of each character depending on their comfortability, sense of freedom, or even their entrapment as a character is easy to be seen and noticed. Used to be more space for them, such as Sal at the park, he, he's, he, he's much more, it's much easier for him to be noticed and found bearing in mind he is actually hiding. Now the colour scheme from all the ancillary tasks and the trailer were all relevant, especially for the film poster and the magazine front cover. The trailer didn't incorporate a frequent use of red, black, white and grey, but whenever the text appeared, such as at the start of the trailer and within the middle of it, 
They were always in, um, including the back, black backgrounds, white and red, therefore creating another suitable link for all tasks. Creating such links would truly help the audience in understanding more about the film and how it suits a specific genre preference. Creating an appropriate atmosphere for the audience due to the film being adult themed is also very important and essential to suit their needs, their specific needs when viewing a film, especially for the crime genre, as many other film trailers from the crime genre also include similar colour schemes and uses of text, uh, adding suitable conventions within the overall genre that the film is in.